my god. These things are so much fun. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> E-bikes. 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 Electric bikes, they're new, they're hot, they're awesome. Um, they're, there's a model for absolutely everybody, and it has changed the landscape of cycling. Absolutely. So in this video, we're going to preview all the e-bikes to you, let you know what they're all about, what the pros and the cons are, what type of bike you might be interested in. Stick around. We're going to go through three models and show you the best of what there is for e-biking in 2020. Maybe five. Maybe five. Five, <laughs> maybe three, maybe five. Stick around and see. So, Kirk, as you know, Half Life is all about inspiring people to get out there and live an active and vital life. Absolutely. I love coming down here to Girk's. You got, we've had so much fun here. We've had our band play. Oh, yeah. We get skis here. You equip people for the outdoors to get out and get after things. And that's fantastic. Located in Issaquah, Washington. For those people, planet Earth. That's just outside of Seattle. Absolutely. Right? Now, one of the hottest trends, e-bikes. I don't even know what to. I don't even know what to think about that. Is that something I should be thinking about? Do batteries work? I don't know. What's going on in that world? Yeah. So e-bikes. This is the largest, fastest growing category in the bicycling world. And most of you out there have seen e-bikes. You've been driving home from work. You see somebody going by in flip-flops and cargo shorts, <laughs> going 30 hey, miles an hour hey, up the hill. But that brings up a point. Is this just for the lazy people? <laughs> no, no. E-bikes, you can still get a workout. You just go faster. You get more wind blown through your hair. It's just more fun. <laughs> more fun. It is more fun. And, right. I mean, so this started in Europe. The Americans caught on. They said, this is going to grow it's growing 400% year over year over no year. Kidding. It's finally hit critical mass. So this isn't it's one huge. of those things that, that I have to be a late adopter and kind of worry like, ah, they haven't quite figured it out. They have and figured it out. Man. Figured it out. Okay. So, and so, you know, we carry Specialized. We're proud of Specialized because they have fully committed to building an e-bike from the ground up. They did not just take a bike and bolt on a motor and bolt on a battery and call yeah. it good. There's a lot of brands out there. This is not a there. science project. This yeah. is not a high school science no, project. No, no. You'll see a lot of bikes out there with a little rack on the back with a battery bolted on. Yeah. And those are your cheap versions, and they work. But Specialized, the brand we believe in, they built from the ground up. They got 60 engineers in Switzerland dedicated to this project. And their spites. That's yeah. how we say it in German. Der Schweiz. There you go. Yeah. I don't even know what you said. But, hey. <laughs> All right. But All right. let's get back to the bikes. Back to the bikes. All right. So Specialized, now they have five platforms of e-bikes to cover every possible rider that comes in the store. So, so if somebody walks in looking for a bike, first question, e-bike, analog bike. And then we delve into what they're yeah. using it for, what they want to do. Okay. So you're telling me that if I'm a road biker, I'm somewhat serious about road biking, there's an e-bike for me. Or... If I'm a senior citizen, not quite yet, but there's something for me. You're closer than so, you think. <laughs> oh, man. So, Kirk, I got to tell you, uh, you've been in the bike business for a long time. 30 years. 30 years. And you've seen a lot of trends come and go. You know, when you think about a trend in e-bikes, is this, is this something that's here today, gone tomorrow? Or are we looking at something that that we're gonna be seeing for a while. It's here today, it's here tomorrow, it's taking over, it is absolutely not a fad. It's, right it's, 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 there's so much investment, they're so fun, they're so well engineered, you do not have to worry about being too early. All the kinks are worked out, these okay. bikes are awesome. What are we gonna look at first? All right, well let's start, um, let's start at the you know, recreational level and go up okay. from there. Can I do this? Can I do this? All right. Mitch! Mitch! Como. All right. All right. Thanks, Mitch. You're welcome. All right. This is a bike. This is what I think of, you know, maybe my mom wanting to ride. we got a wide seat. We have an upright riding maybe position. Maybe a beach cruiser. Like maybe a beach, a beach cruiser. cruiser. Maybe you're thinking Wizard of Oz to have a little Toto in the front, something <laughs> like that. But this is a comfortable, recreational bike. Hop on it in your tennis shoes. No need for spandex here. It just gets you up that hill Laid back. so Laid back. much easier. Where can I put a cup holder? Seems like it needs a cup holder. Oh, cup holder. You can bolt a cup holder on right there. Yeah, maybe You've got built-in lights. You've got the built-in rack. You've got fenders. I mean, so these bikes, hey, Mitch, yes. these range from how much? 2950 to 4150. $2950 to $4150. you got a range on this recreational level e-bike. And let me tell you, all it takes is one ride, and you are smiling. This is fun. Okay. Let's go next. All right, what's next? I'm going to give this one back to Mitch. All right, we'll, Mitch, here you go. All right, let's look at Avado. 
Now we're looking at the Vado. This bike, we'd call this a fitness bike, commuter bike. This one, you're a little more athletic riding this bike, a little more aggressive handling. This is a bike somebody's gonna want, if they're commuting 10, 20 miles to work, wanna yeah. hop on it, still, you don't wanna gear up in spandex, but you just wanna get to work in a hurry. Place for the briefcase. Built put in briefcase. racks, you can put panniers, briefcase on, nice. fenders, lights. But this bike, it's just gonna move a little faster than that Como. It's gonna get you in a more aerodynamic position. You're going Got about 28 miles an hour with a moderate level of output here. And um, these range from how much, Mitch? 2700 to 5150. You've no, got what no. four models in this category? Well, okay, so when we look at that range, because that's a pretty big range. Yeah. Going from 2700 to, well, I don't know. It was a lot 5150, more. 5150, yeah. yeah. Is that different engine, different battery? You're getting a little, yeah, yeah. So aside from the little features of the gears and the brakes and the fenders versus no fenders, yeah. you've got battery and motor options that are going to give you a little more battery life and a little more powerful motor. Got the cruiser? We got the commuter. Uh huh. What comes next? Well, let's say you're a dedicated road bike and you do wear spandex. You like spandex. Let's say you Thank wear you. spandex, but you want to go 100 miles and make it a little bit easier. Or you want to go 100 miles and you can't keep up with the guy you're with, but you want to keep up with the guy so you're with. So if I was riding 100 miles with you, maybe. Yeah, maybe if you go out with me and you're like, Girk, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Take the Creo. All, All right, right, Mitch, let's trade. The, this Creo. Sounds like, you know, maybe I might dial up the, the specialized racing team and say, Timmy T is going to ride with you. Yeah. This is what I want. I mean, All this right. bike, look at that. You probably can't even tell this is an electric bike. There's no. a power button here. The battery is built into the down tube. The motor is down here in the bottom bracket. Specialized design, a specific motor for this bike because a light road bike needs less power output. Just get up and maintain 30 miles an hour on a lightweight but, platform. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at the guns. I, I mean, I mean, look at the bike. That I mean, is really light. Yeah, so, that so is crazy. I mean, this bike, you can go out right 80, 100 miles on a battery charge. And if you want to go further, they have an auxiliary battery shaped like a water bottle. Stick it in there, plug it in, you get another nice. 20, 30 miles out of it, right? 20, 30 miles. Because I think back in the day, you know, with the bigger electric bikes, if they went dead, you they just have dead. you have just like yeah. a bunch of metal to move around. Yeah, this bike is to it's all carbon fiber. Like you said, it's 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 totally capable to ride without power. But when you power it up, man, you feel like Superman. Okay. It just goes. And I can I can wear my spandex. Now this is a bike that you just ride it like a normal okay. roadie bike. Yeah. Shoes, pedals, spandex, helmet, whole deal. Nice. You're just going out and you're riding. But okay. And did we already do price range on this, Mitch? 6,500 to 13,500. Yeah. So a range from 6,000 to 13,000 bucks. Nice. Obviously features and uh, just like all road bikes, you got a lot of options to go up the line. Beautiful bike. Absolutely Beautiful awesome. Bike. Absolutely all awesome. Right. Can, I, can I do this? Mitch, take it away. Take it away, Mitch. So now. I like doing clap. I mean, I. Uh, Mitch is a great guy. Yeah. I love, I love him. We love we, Mitch. You know, being here helping us out. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay, what comes next? Now, now the flagship of the family. We saved okay. the best for last. This is our, this is it. Our best-selling bikes, the Levo, which is what you think of a full suspension, off-road capable mountain bike. Like the Specialized Stump okay. Jumper has been their number one full suspension yeah, bike in their yeah. family for 20, 25 years. Now they powered that up. They call it the Levo. Bring it in, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. Bring it right in. Standard. Holy smokes. This Levo, they make these in aluminum frames, carbon frames. This bike is full on capable off roading, airborne landing. No, it come is a on, man. fun. So you can jump, go this berms. Thing, this this is basically thing, a, it's a mountain bike. This is a real mountain bike. But as you know, mountain biking is fun going downhill. How do you get to the top of the hill? You pedal, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You pedal this bike, it adds, it basically makes you four times stronger. Imagine that. I mean, yeah. you can go up steep switchbacks over rocks. You're just pedaling like you're going downhill. It makes you just motor up, up the makes mountain. going uphill fun. It's insane. Right? I mean, the first time I rode this, just grinning ear to ear. It was silly. <laughs> I'm riding up gravel, dirt gravel roads, hitting jumps on the way up. It's going so fast. <laughs> it's fantastic. absolutely insane. You get up and it bombs. 
Now the one takeaway or the one drawback here, it's about 50 pounds. A lot of people, hardcore mountain bikers yeah. are saying, I love the power, but I'd like to have a bike that's a little more agile, a little more nimble, okay. rides a little bit more like and my- And is it more about the nimbleness everything? or gaining on the rack on your car? I mean like- Both, you both. know, 50 okay. pounds. This bike is, you know, if you're throwing this in the back of your pickup, you know, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's almost a two person deal, getting 50 pounds over your tailgate. So what's brand new this year, just hit the store last week, the Levo SL. Do your SL. thing, Mitch. Levo. Mitch! Let's, we're gonna have to try this again. I think maybe my clapper is broken. Yeah. Let me try it again. All right. All right. All right. Oh, ready? Let me warm up my hands. All right. Mitch! There we go. All right. Woo. Okay. So, so this, it looks a little bit similar, different finish. Looks very similar. What you don't maybe see from the camera, the motor housing is about half the size of the original Levo. So we talked about the Creo, that road bike where they yeah. made a compact, lightweight right. motor. Right. So they did that last year. They took that technology and said, hey, there's some mountain bikers that don't need to be four times as strong. They might just want to be two times as strong and have a bike that's about 13 pounds lighter. Wow. So when they okay. get downhill, yeah. they can throw this bike around, feel more agile, feel yeah. more nimble. Yeah. So they call this two times U, the original Levo, four times U. But again, we're down to 38 pounds now in their yeah, carbon yeah, carbon nice. fiber version. Yeah. I mean, so like a cheap mountain bike is without power is about 38 pounds. Now you got a <laughs> yeah. now you got a full on electric assist bike. So well, smaller battery, smaller motor, but because of the less output, you get the same range. Yeah. You can go and out it, all day, ride 30, 40 the, miles. The, the nice thing is when you think about opening up the trails in mountain biking to to everybody, you you don't have to be a superstar athlete. You know, here you get a little bit of assist to help you get up the hill and make sure you get to enjoy it. Because ultimately, being outside, being in outdoors, going through mud and water and everything on a mountain bike, it's just a blast. Oh, Everybody can do it now. Well, and, and these, this does so much for you. It, so for an experienced rider who's maybe in shape, you go out for two hours and maybe you normally make one lap up a five mile climb and come down. Yeah. You just turn one lap into two laps in the same amount of time, yeah. same effort, you've doubled your fun. Oh, it's you know, fantastic. Or you're not in shape and you just aren't strong enough to get uphill and enjoy the ride. Or now you can. Yeah. Right? Or, it's, or you've just been off the bike for a little while. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, there's so many benefits. And I'm telling you, there, I have. once you get on this thing, we've never, never heard one downside. I mean, they don't tear up the trail. They make it more accessible for everybody. They're just a ton of fun. Hey, Mitch, how much do these things cost? Yeah, the standard Levo is four times you. Starts at five grand, goes up to 13 grand. This new SL, brand new, lighter weight platform, 6,500, up to 13 grand, 14 grand. If you want to spend that much, just come talk to us. We'll, okay, we'll find you a bike. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, come. these bikes are just so well engineered. The cables are routed inside the frame, go right down out the back. So totally clean, nothing to get caught up. Just looks beautiful, functions great, very well designed. Now, when we're, when we're working through a bike like this, do we go through the typical fitting process? I know one of the things that you guys do really well is you fit every bike, Absolutely. particular to that person's you know body shape and how they ride and how it fits. Do we do fitting on these bikes too? Absolutely. Okay. Everything about an e-bike is, is, is the same about a standard bike. You gotta, you're gonna get the fit from us. We're gonna make all the adjustments, a year of free service with the bike. Okay. Um, so if anybody's nervous at all about service, but yeah. you, you got a whole year, right. come back in and, and everything has been great about these yeah. bikes so far. You really don't need to be intimidated. They've simplified everything. You just turn it on, go ride, yeah. plug it in at the end of the day, go ride again. I mean, they're so well thought out. You don't have to worry about being overwhelmed by technology. It's fantastic. They're just fun. So we just went through five different styles of e-bikes with a bit of a range in each of them. Hopefully you found it really useful. If you did, please put give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, come back and see more, visit Gurk at Gurks, come see Half-Life, and we're gonna take these guys out on the trail and put them to the test within the next month or so. So stay tuned for that one. That'll Anything be a else good you day. wanna say to the people of the world? I just say, live the right half of life and get out and have fun, buddy. <laughs> That's right. Live out there on the good half. There you go. See you later. All right. And see. Good.